Design of minimum length nozzle using method of characteristics. Abstract, the nozzle efficiency is largely affected by the nozzle contour. As a result, an optimum geometrical design of a solid rocket motor nozzle is designed in order to achieve maximum thrust and velocity. Two types of nozzle exit configurations are well thought out in the design process, conical and contoured. A conical nozzle is used for its simplicity of production, but a contoured nozzle is preferred because it increases performance while reducing weight, a contour nozzle also adjusts the flow such that the exhaust product is in a less or more axial direction, reducing divergence losses. In this case, we'll look at a contour-shaped nozzle that can optimize thrust as needed. Process of designing a contour nozzle, minimum length nozzle, utilizing method of characteristics, mock, is carried out mock is preferred owing to its widespread usage in the industry. Keyword, solid rocket motor, nozzle, trust, contour nozzle, minimum length nozzle, method of characteristics. 1. Introduction to Rocket Propulsion Introduction Rocket propulsion systems are classified in a variety of ways, including chemical, nuclear, and solar energy sources, as well as fundamental functions such as booster stages, sustained or upper stages, attitude control, orbit station maintaining, and the sort of vehicle they drive, aircraft, missile, assisted takeoff, space vehicle, etc., or according to their size, propellant type, structure, or the number of rocket propulsion units utilized in a specific vehicle, as well as the thrust. Generation Mechanism The kind of propellant utilized in a rocket can be used to classify the propulsion system. Liquid and solid propellants are the two most common kinds. Solid Propellant Rocket Motor Solid propellants, fuel-slash-oxidizer, have been utilized in military applications such as missiles because they can be stored for a long period without considerable propellant deterioration and because they can be launched reliably most of the time. The grain is a solid propellant, or charge, that includes all of the chemical components required for full combustion. It is designed to burn smoothly and at a predefined pace on all exposed internal grain surfaces once ignited. As the propellant is burnt and consumed, the inside cavity increases. The heated gases that arise travel through the supersonic nozzle, providing thrust. There are no feed systems or valves, and there are no or very few moving components throughout the system. 2. Nozzle The exhaust gas is accelerated out of the nozzle to create thrust in a divergent diverging nozzle, also known as a de Laval nozzle. The heat generated in the combustion chamber of a solid rocket engine is generally converted into kinetic energy in the exhaust using a convergent-divergent nozzle. Newton's third law of motion describes how a rocket engine employs a nozzle to accelerate heated exhaust. The mass flow rate through the engine, the exit velocity of the flow, and the pressure at the engine's exit determine the amount of thrust generated. The rocket nozzle design determines the value of these three flow variables. The fundamental thermodynamic principles may be used to estimate throat area, nozzle half angle, and expansion ratio for simple nozzles with non-contoured conical outputs. To decrease divergence loss, enhance particular impulse somewhat, and minimize nozzle length and mass, a more sophisticated contoured, or bell-shaped, nozzle is utilized. Minimum length supersonic nozzle Supersonic nozzles are used to increase a flow to desired supersonic levels in a number of technical applications. The use of supersonic nozzles is possible. There are two categories of nozzles, progressive expansion nozzles and nozzles with a minimum length. Gradual expansion nozzles are widely employed in situations where maintaining a high quality flow at the appropriate exit conditions is critical. For other applications, the huge weight and length penalties associated with gradual expansion nozzles make them impractical, hence minimum length nozzles with a sharp corner to give the initial expansion are usually utilized. The flow may be separated into simple and non-simple areas for both gradual expansion and minimum length nozzles. Mach wave reflections and intersects describe a non-simple area. It is preferable to limit the non-simple zone as much as feasible in order to achieve the criterion of consistent conditions at the nozzle outlet. 
This can be accomplished by designing the nozzle surface so that no Mach waves, e.g., characteristics, are generated or reflected while the flow is straightened. As a result, the method of characteristics is used to build a supersonic nozzle that fits these parameters. The design of both a gradual expansion and a minimum length nozzle is illustrated in this paper. 3. Nozzle Design For designing a profile of a nozzle different methods have been proposed, method of characteristics and GVR Rao approximation method. Method of characteristics is the method that S discussed below for designing a minimum length nozzle. General Theory the nonlinear differential equation of the velocity potential can be used to explain the physical circumstances of a two-dimensional, steady, isentropic, irrotational flow. The technique of characteristics is a mathematical framework that may be used to discover solutions to the aforementioned velocity potential while meeting certain boundary conditions, resulting in the governing partial differential equations, PDEs, becoming ordinary differential equations, ODEs. Method of Characteristics In a supersonic flow, characteristics are lines oriented in specified directions along which disturbances, pressure waves, propagate. The method of characteristics, Mach, is a numerical approach for addressing two-dimensional compressible flow problems, among other things. Flow parameters such as direction and velocity may be estimated at different sites across a flow field using this method. The following are the three qualities of characteristics. Property 1, a curve or line in a two-dimensional supersonic flow along which physical disturbances propagate at the local speed of sound relative to the gas is a characteristic. Property 2, a characteristic is a curve along which the flow qualities are continuous, even though the initial derivatives are discontinuous, and the derivatives are indefinite. Property 3, a characteristic is a curve that may be used to convert the controlling partial differential equations into an ordinary differential equation, S. Minimum length nozzle, MLN, using method of characteristics, Mach. Characteristic lines. Two-dimensional irrotational flow for steady, two-dimensional, irrotational flow, equation 3.1, which is the whole velocity potential. Compatibility equations point by point along the characteristics. Internal flow. If the flow field conditions are known at two points in the flow, the conditions at a third point can be found. The third point is located by the intersection of the C characteristic through the first point and the C end characteristic through the second point, as shown in figure 3.3 below. As a result of the known values at the first and second points, the flow conditions at the third point may now be calculated. Equation 3.24 is used to get the Mach number. Assume that the characteristics are straight line segments connecting the grid points, with average slopes. C characteristic across the first point is drawn as a straight line with an average slope angle. As indicated in the equation below, the C end characteristic across the second point is drawn as a straight line with an average slope angle. Supersonic Nozzle Design In order to increase the speed of an internal steady flow via a duct from subsonic to supersonic, the duct must be convergent-divergent in form, as shown in figure 3.4. Assume that the sonic line is perfectly straight. In the throat, the flow increases to sonic speed. The duct splits downstream of the sonic line. The expansion section in figure 3.5 is shortened to a point in minimal length nozzles, and the expansion occurs by a centered Prandtl-Meyer wave emerging from a sharp center throat with an angle dot umax. ML, as shown in figure 3.5. The length of the supersonic nozzle, L, is the smallest value that can be achieved while maintaining shock-free, isentropic flow. Assume that the exit Mach numbers of the nozzles in figures 3.4 and 3.5 are the same. The expansion contour of the minimum length nozzle depicted in figure 3.5 exhibits a sharp corner at point A. Only two wave systems meet the fluid, right running waves from point A and left running waves from point D. In equation 3.25, the wall's expansion angle downstream of the neck is illustrated. It is point E when the centerline Mach number matches the design exit Mach number. The expansion section comes to an end at point C, 
which fixes its length as well as the value of Omax. The number of nodes is calculated using the formula below. For results and discussion. By compressing the expansion section, the design of a minimal length supersonic nozzle is capable of constructing a minimal length nozzle. The entire length of the nozzle is reduced when the expansion portion is contracted. The length of the supersonic nozzle is kept to a minimum in the preceding design because the expansion section is kept to a minimum. In actuality, the expansion part has been compressed to point at the throat's end. Using the Prandtl-Meyer equation the characteristic lines are solved in MATLAB all the points are plotted against nozzle axis in which different characteristic lines are seen. These points are later used for plotting a 2D domain for CFD analysis you must also choose an optimal number of features, which should be large enough to form a curved, bell-shaped, contour towards the end of the process. Make sure your lines are straight. Mox overall efficacy may be measured. 5. Conclusion There are a variety of uses for supersonic nozzles. Normally, they are exposed to a complicated flow pattern. To achieve the high precision and huge calculations required by current high-speed applications, a computer is required. As a result, a computerized approximation method could be a preferable way to address such an issue. The most acceptable approach to utilize with the supersonic nozzle design is the characteristic method. By doing several iterations, we can improve our results. Slight modifications in the input parameters algorithm we were able to effectively use the method of characteristics to produce a nozzle shape for a nozzle with a minimum length. The nozzle points acquired may be imported into any CAD program for further refining and production. To achieve the greatest outcomes in line with the input specification, it is strongly suggested to combine this strategy with an iterative design approach.